We mount the stage. Have a nice and warm welcome from Niagara Falls, Charlie Curry. <laughs> Guess where I used to be proud to come from? <laughs> Campbellville. <laughs> but I went to school here. Any uh, U of T students? <laughs> Alumni? I'm living proof they should close that school down. <laughs> Got two degrees at U of T. They might as well have given me a bowling trophy. <laughs> So I'm a vegetarian, folks. I went into a restaurant last week, ordered a plate of parsley, and said, garnish that, you bastards. <laughs> Thank you, Gunnar. So they did. With a big pig right in the corner of the plate. So I just spent the whole meal moving the pig around. Get at my parsley. Pissed me off. So I've been doing a lot of blind dating, uh, but I get tired of that pre-date phone call where the girl describes herself as being pleasantly plump. And then turns out to be morbidly obese. The last girl I dated said that uh, Richard Simmons made her fat. She used to get hungry when she's playing deal a meal. And her relatives are here tonight in big numbers. I didn't know that. So I made uh, my reservations last week. I called into the girl at the restaurant and said, I'd like a table for two, please. She says, can you spell your name? Said, yes. <laughs> didn't know spelling would be the criteria. <laughs> Couldn't you just put me in the non-spelling section? <laughs> I can spell, but I might have trouble cutting my own meat. <laughs> so I went to the ice capades a few months back here in Toronto, at Maple Leaf Gardens. They now have beer in the gardens. I like my ice capades and I like my beer, but I'm not sure the two mix. <laughs> a couple rows over from me, a guy obviously into the beer a little too serious started yelling out, pull the goalie, pull the goalie. <laughs> Five minutes to go, Barney and Fred are only down by a goal. <laughs> that pissed me off too. So uh, a few weeks back in front, I'm not sure if you saw this, but a pit bull jumped up on the lady and stole her purse. So the uh, Metro Police put out an APB on the suspect, described the suspect as being a big black dog, big white teeth, black collar, heading eastbound on Queen. <laughs> I thought a dog with a purse would have been sufficient. <laughs> so I used to have a photographic memory until I went through that fucking thing at the airport. <laughs> I'm not sure where I put my luggage. So I'd like somebody to tell me why they wear those white hard hats in the meat factories. What's the chance of a roast beef jumping up and whacking you in the head? <laughs> All my life, people have said things to me like, eat this, it'll put hair in your chest. Eat this, it'll put hair in your chest. Have some more, it'll put hair in your chest. Trust me, I have sufficient hair in my chest now. I just want somebody to come forward and tell me what I've been eating that's putting the hair on my back. <laughs> For a long time, I thought it was sweet potatoes. So I tried it out on my ex-girlfriend. Turns out it just grew hair in her ass. Oh, and her relatives are here tonight, too. Well, I'm not saying I didn't like it. Maybe a little too personal. So here's a commercial that pisses me off. The commercial says two out of three dentists uh, surveyed recommend brushing your teeth with baking soda. This pisses me off. 
After seven years of schooling, you'd think more than one out of three dentists would guess correctly, toothpaste. <laughs> So, like I said, I left my girlfriend about a year ago. At the time, she was 107 pounds. She's ballooned up to 110 pounds. <laughs> so she's gone into Nutrisystems. There's a sale on there now, a dollar a pound for every pound you lose. So I took them in $110, asked them if they'd lose her completely. <laughs> See how that goes. So are you familiar with the uh, biathlon, the uh, cross-country skiing event in the Olympics with the uh, rifle shooting? To me, it epitomizes the stupidity in sports. Last Olympics, 14 and a half Ks gone by, Swedish guy chasing a Norwegian for first place, 200 yards behind him, clearly not going to catch him. I'm thinking, if I'm the Swedish guy, <laughs> I can load a gun on my back. <laughs> I'm the next Olympic champion. <laughs> So I saw a show last week on cholesterol. The announcer comes on at the beginning, be beginning of the show. Oh, man. He spoke more clearly than that. <laughs> and he said, one out of three people watching the show will die of heart disease. No show's worth that kind of risk, folks. Turn the channel on that one. <laughs> Cheer up. So I do my own shopping now. I go into the meat departments. I see those boneless, skinless chickens. I figure they're better off dead. <laughs> what kind of life could you lead, boneless and skinless? Bunch of wobbly chickens. <laughs> Teasing, though. They used to call me skin and bones. What are you going to call a chicken with no bone and skin? <laughs> hey, you're just meat. So another thing that pisses me off, craft Dinner people have no imagination. I've been buying craft Dinner for a lot of years. Every time I open the box, it's always the same prize. Bag of cheese. <laughs> Piss me off. I'll leave you uh, with one final thought. I took grade 13 biology, like probably everybody here. And sure, when I cooked my first turkey, I could identify the neck. I just couldn't figure out how it got up the turkey's asshole. <laughs> but they've actually proven that the neck belongs to the turkey behind that turkey in line. 